And my motion was actually something I've been working on for the last couple of uh, like months, two months now we've been working on that motion. And recently with the, um, with the conditions uh, that the Dutch government had um, imposed on us and given us less than a week to decide on take this money, right. here are the conditions, yes or no, it was, I found it was befitting for us to put my motion into play. The, my motion was uh, actually uh, requested. It had like three requests: one to Parliament, one to uh, one to the government of, of, of the Netherlands, mm -hmm. and one to pa and one to the, um, the Council of Ministers. The part with the Council of Ministers, we literally stated that if the conditions, because you can't say yeah, you can't. There's no gray area. It's yeah. either yes or no. So wh what do we say? No, no money comes to St. Martin already. As a country, you cannot. Um, easily go and request money outside. Holland is all you have right now, right. given the situation, the trickle-down effect of our economy. We have to say, we have to, you know, of course, agree to, to the money, to the funds. But provided it is not um, in conflict with our local kingdom and international laws. So my motion was two-part. You want us to abide by your conditions, but we will abide, provided it is within the laws, that we're not in conflict with your laws. Yeah. Secondly, apart from the motion, it was seven, uh, seven resolutions. The first four resolutions was assigned to, to, to Council of Ministers, and in that, in it also stated that you're going to say, say yes to the motion, provided you don't go against the laws, but you're also going to sit with the unions. And that's something right now that Council of Ministers is doing. They're sitting down with the unions and negotiating within, within the laws. And then the other one, I think it was five, is directly reminding the, the, the government of Holland, remember your obligations, remember what, um, that we have to abide by the laws, a friendly reminder. Yeah. And then the last two is telling parliament, you know something, let's reassess where we are in the kingdom. It's time to do a reassessment. It's been 10 years. Has this really been working for us? Is this what we want when another pandemic and another hurricane hit us? Let's go and reassess where we are in the kingdom. And what that truly means is that we have already made contact with a representative of the, um, the decolonization committee of the United Nations. Yeah. We're going to have a, a meeting with him very, very soon. He's going to sit with us and put us through the process. I've already spoken to him lightly. Um, he, said, he stated that it's going to take three to four months. And then with that report, he can come back. And as a country, now we have from the highest body, the United Nations, telling us what, how our agreement is. Really look, look at the nitty-gritty of our agreement in the kingdom of, 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 the, of, the, of the Netherlands. Netherlands. So with that said, we had 15 parliamentarians present, mm -hmm. 12, 12 signed. 12 was 4, which was the entire US, USP faction, the UP faction, and the NA faction. All three factions signed. That means those 12 MPs understand that, you know, it's time now to really look, look it over. It's actually the first time in the history of St. Martin that we've done a self-assessment. It's never been done before. And um, the three that didn't sign was the one of UD and two of PFP, where they said it was completely according to them. Um, I, I think according to one of them, they stated that uh, we are binding, tying the hands of government, and it's a confusion. Twelve people understood it. So um, are you satisfied with um, the decision of the prime minister and the council ministers to accept the conditions from the Dutch government? We stated to them that you, you can accept the conditions provided they are not in violation of the law. Now, let me tell you what happened after my motion passed. Knops is the representative, is who we're in liaison with, speaking to back and forth with these conditions. So Knops went on that same day. The motion was due, I think, at a particular time. And Knops was in Parliament, in Holland. In Parliament, some of the parliamentarians, I think it was MP Dinches, Dirch Dinches and I think MP Kuykens, they were questioning him. Are you sure we are not in violation of the international law? Knopp literally verbally stated, and it's recorded, he stated, I didn't have time for that. I really don't care. These are my conditions, and they're going to have to abide by it. Then, a couple, like an hour, maybe 45 minutes later, Knopp puts in writing, we have checked 
We are. We know for a fact we are in the. Um, the, the these conditions are in within con within, within the limitations of the law. But if it is in conflict of your local laws, like they say in Dutch, zoek het maar uit. Figure it out for yourself. You have six weeks to stick to abide by our conditions and six weeks to tell us. Um, that to change your laws to make sure that you abide by our conditions and in six weeks he literally said we're going to see how we're going to continue this 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 relationship this partnership between um, Holland and St. Martin we're going to see if it's going to be further or closer 